Welcome back to Cow Pie Bros. Jason and I are fresh off the segment, uh, Kanye West effectively shutting, <laughs> going, going, going DEFCON 3 on, on at least his own, uh, apparel line. I don't know about the, uh, the Jewish community, but that's neither here nor there. Second segment, we're going to be talking about, uh, uh, Netflix and them rolling out some, uh, enhancements to, uh, their online uh, membership offerings. Jason and I talked about this uh, in a previous uh, episode, um, but potentially we have some new um, discussion on this in terms of password sharing, being a uh, free password share, being a thing of the past, Jason. Um, this can't be all that surprising, Jason, especially in light of the fact that Membership is down, probably for the first time ever in the history of the platform. Yeah, that's when we talked about it before. That's what where this whole thing came up was. Uh, I have to go back and see when that period was. I basically mentioned the quarter before. They're down so many su- subscribers, losing all this sort of money, things like that. And I believe in those same kind of articles in that time frame, we're talking about potentially Netflix doing a pricing plan, charging you extra money for your password sharing. And now that's kind of what leads us back into talking about it now is they've kind of revealed more information about both of those things. Yes, sir. Yeah. And so what I really was interested in is how they were going to, basically how are you going to know that I've started doling out that, uh, you know, my, my 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 fa- to a, to a, to a buddy let's say four states away quote unquote i can give you some insight into that actually Go ahead. um again some insight so a different company but same streaming type um you know thing hulu this is some years ago uh still living in indianapolis different location so of course i have my all my tvs and whatnot set up for hulu i went to go visit my mom in Southern Illinois. L- logged in, put the password in, whatnot. Either, it was either that day or the next day, got a message, logged into my mom's TV, said, hey, we noticed that you're logged in, in in two different places. We need you to, to, to pick one within the next certain time frame, or we're going to start charging you or whatever, whatever it said. So I'm guessing if they can see that somebody is logged into your you know, username and password in two different locations. Now, I don't know if it's like certain distance away or whatnot, but obviously, you know, you know, Indianapolis compared to the St. Louis area, they can tell, hey, you know. So I'd imagine Netflix is going to be able to use that same type of technology, software, detection, whatever, to determine that obviously I'm not living in two different places at the same time. So that's how they're probably going to know. Got it. Yeah, so... From my perspective, they, what I envision, they're going to go more the a la carte route. And so basically, every time that somebody tries to use that password, you basically, you're going to be responsible for it now. So. We say responsible for, like, what do you mean? Basically, you need to be more mindful about who actually has that damn thing. You know, if you were, okay. dare I say, if you were married for almost a decade or, dare I say, dating for two months, <laughs> you might want to update that password, dog. <laughs> Already taken care of. (laughs) But now I will say too, according to an article from uh, CNET.com, now I will say the amount they're going to charge for, you know, use of your password may or may not be that much for for folks. It says it's going to be around $3.50 to $4. bucks. i would imagine that's probably, it actually does say each extra member account. So if you have a doled out to, you know, five different households, it'd be an extra 20 bucks a month. Which in general is not a big deal, unless you don't want to spend the extra twenty bucks. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? So um, right. there is there is that. There's that's the sticking point. Most people don't want to pay it. So well, I think I think it probably depends on who you have it, you know, given out to. Uh, you know, I'll leave it at that. If it's somebody you don't mind paying that extra money for, then you'll probably go ahead and do it. But if it was just Joe Blow from around the corner, around the streets, you don't really know you're just being nice to him, you're probably gonna say, Hey Joe, sorry, you're gonna have to go. But yeah, so there is that. Um which Again, that's there's not a date set on when that's going to happen. Uh, the articles articles just mention early next year, which could be March or April for all we know. Um, the price plans they're going to come out with though is supposedly going to start on November the third. Now, what they're mentioning is going to happen on November the third though is like their basic plan, which is like well, not actually not even the basic plan. It's a six ninety nine a month for a new ad supported plan. Which again starts November the third. So basically, you pay that six ninety nine, and you actually you'll get you'll get ads and whatever you're watching, fifteen to thirty second ads. Uh, now I imagine when they say fifteen to thirty second ads, they don't mean just one at a time. It's going to be like probably two or three at a time, multiple times during a, say a two hour movie that you're watching. Which anybody that has Hulu that's not paying the, any extra money for the for the you know higher price plan, probably going to be very similar to that. Now, in in the nutshell, it's not that big a deal personally for people who do already do that kind of thing through Hulu. It just may be a, a disappointment to have to do that through Hulu and Netflix now, and maybe some people may not want to do that. You can also play at a higher a higher price plan, which again, there's numbers on that as well in regards to how much that's going to cost. I see plans for like nine nine ninety nine, um, fifteen ninety nine, and nineteen ninety nine. Um, some of those differences when it comes to what you get is more of the streaming quality between standard definition, high def, or HD and 4K Ultra HD, you know, how many simultaneous streams you can have going on, stuff like that. So um doesn't seem to be any limits on the titles you watch, really more of just the quality that you get and how many simultaneous streams you can have going on. So um now with that being said, though, I'm guessing when they say simultaneous streams, it probably mean in one household, not, again, in efforts from downstate or whatnot, you know, so... Um, again, everything I see that says start November the 3rd is talking about the 699. So I'm assuming it's going to be all the price plans, but the only thing confirmed for November 3rd is a 699. So FYI. Yeah, I, I think it helps everybody because anytime the consumer has more options, it's a win. For those consumers that say, hey, I don't need the top plan. I don't need that many uh, options or that many uh, levels of uh, streaming. Then great. Don't then don't pick that. You know, I'm a big believer in, you know, you know, you need, you know, if you're you need to you need the base level, get you the base model. Get you the good, better, best and then the baller. You know, you know, you know, I that that's a win for everybody when everybody has options. You know, you realize you realize how much better it would be if like everybody had like like four different options for like everything. But, you know, we got supply chain issues for everything. So it's a rarity that you have that much flexibility for a product. That's a pretty good model for Netflix, actually. A uh, few key points here, real quick. Um, the six ninety nine for the basic ad plan for Netflix is going to be one one dollar less than Disney Plus or Hulu with commercials. Uh, also, commercials will be fifteen to thirty seconds in length and will play before and during Netflix content. Obviously, but the last thing is I mentioned the de- uh, streaming quality for the higher price plans, starting with the nine ninety nine. The six ninety nine will be a seven twenty p resolution. So not the greatest, but it's you also know, for not the, the most expensive either, right? True, and I, I will say this. I remember, and to me, it, it was funny when she said it, but but it kind of makes sense. I remember years ago talking to my mom about you know the cost of Hulu and whatnot, and I remember her complaining about the commercials always coming on and whatnot, and I was telling her about you know you can pay a little bit extra to get no commercials, and I'll never forget this line. It made me laugh at the time, and it's still funny, but it's so true. She said. I'm not going to pay you to not show me something. 
So yeah, basically our thought was that I'm not going to pay you extra money just to not show me these commercials because it's, it's just stupid. So, so that that's always stuck with me forever. Uh, and it kind of makes sense. So as much as the quality on Netflix, I think I like, I, I kind of, with that mindset, I kind of would agree that I would go with the 699 plan just because ads aren't that big a deal to me because I'm used to it with Hulu. So, and plus and nothing else, the ads are only 50. That's another thing. So the, they said the ads in the, the uh, ad plan, it's only going to be an average of four to five minutes total during whatever you're watching. So again, um, yeah, so if you're watching a two-hour movie, it's five minutes. Who cares? That's a five-minute break. Go bathroom, go get some food, whatever. So for me, again, not the $15.99 that I'm paying now for Netflix is that expensive. It's not. The price has obviously gone up to that because I remember when I first got it, it might have been more like $10, bucks, nine ninety nine. Again, 6 bucks isn't that big of a deal, no. But if I can go to six ninety nine, get the same thing that I like when it comes to titles or whatnot, watch the little ads, 720p resolution if it's still good quality. I got a good TV. I don't care. So for me, I go to the, I go to the 699, get the same quality. Not to mention that I don't watch Netflix that much anyway. I don't see that changing now with the price being lower. So I mean, I have a lot of stuff on my watch list. I'll get to it eventually. But we ain't there yet, dog. So I will tell you, everybody now, that I'll be the cheapskate and get, go for the 699. And I'm cool with that because I'm not paying you to, paying you to not show me something so that is that is a quote for your ass can i just say that <laughs> well shout out to diane ross that's 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 a, that's a definitely a diane a diane ross ism i'll never forget uh, yes yes that might be a diane ism <laughs> we, we 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 may need, we may have a new quotable on here uh, on cow pop rose oh and i that- have I, oh, I have several i don't know if she wants me to share them all on on, on, on the air but but I have several I can use. I'll, I'll get permission from her what I can or can't use. I, I'll get back to you, folks. Yeah, we may <laughs> need to get. We may need to get. Uh, that's my. That's we we in a P Diddy territory right now, like uh, clearing a sample. <laughs> I'll make sure she signs a consent form, so there's nothing, no issue down the road. Yeah. All right, man. That's great. Oh, uh, jeez. All right. That concludes our segment on uh, Netflix Netflix password sharing. Uh, coming up next. Uh, on the last segment of episode 80, we talk about this World Series, Astros versus Phillies. 